right, up till this point we've been multiplying things together to get answers that look like this. Now we're going to start factoring and we're going to take it apart and see what did we multiply together to get this answer. All right, we're going to do that by doing the greatest common factor. Remember, greatest meaning the largest and common meaning what they share and factors are the things we multiply together. So remember we had done this by doing the trees. <clears throat> so, we're going to break down 4 into its factors. Well, what two things do we multiply together to get 4? Well, that would be 2 times 2. x squared broken apart would be x times x times y. Let's do the same thing for our 16. We can break this down to 4 times 4, which can be broken down to 2 times 2 and 2 times 2, and x and y. And finally, with our 8, this is going to be 2 times 4, which can be broken down to 2 times 2. And we have x and y times y. Now, we're looking for things that all three terms share. So we can't circle it unless they share it. So let's see. They all have a 2. And they all have one more 2. All right, this one has more 2's, but I've run out, and this one has another 2, but I've run out over here. So the most that they share is just two 2's. All right, this one has an x, and an x, and an x. Now I've run out of x's, so I can't circle any more because I don't have any more over here. I've run out. And the same thing with the y's. Once I circle this one, I can't circle any more than 1 because I don't have any more here. So I can only circle what they share. All right. Then what they share is going to be the greatest common factor. That would be 2 times 2 times x times y. Well, that would give me 2 times 2 is 4xy. So that's my greatest common factor. That's what they all share. That's what I circled all three places. Now, I'm still trying to look at what did I multiply together to get it. So now, in my parentheses, it's going to be what I did not circle each time. So let's see, the only thing I didn't circle here was an x, all right? Then I have a plus sign, so I'll put a plus sign here. The only thing I didn't circle here was 2 times 2, well, that would be 4. And I have a minus sign here. And what's left? Oh, a 2 and a y. All right, now, if I've done this correctly, this is what I multiplied together to get what I started with. So let's double check. 4 times x times x times y, yep. 4 times 4 times x times y gives me my 16. 4 times negative 2, yep, 8, times x times y, y, giving me my y squared. All right, so if I multiply it back together, I get with what I started. And if I look in my parentheses, there are no more common factors. There's nothing left that all these three terms share, so I know that I've done it correctly. And remember, you know you love math.